Hey guys, how's it going today? Project at hand is I gotta pull the dump cylinder out of this dump truck. It's leaking, I'm gonna send it and have it rebuilt. I thought about doing it myself, but uh, I don't really have the time, nor do I wanna mess with it right now trying to find parts. So there's a, uh, hey brother, come up here and look at these covers. There's two covers on each side of this. Pay attention to the camera. We took those off, there's one on each side, and then there's the pin for the top of the cylinder. And uh, so now I gotta get this cotter key out of here. That one. That's holding the pin in, and then hopefully I can drive the pin out. well <laughs> all right so now that's out now I have to raise the bed am I in the picture I have to raise the bed and uh, there's a pin on the bottom side of things we've got to take it out and unhook the hydraulic line and lift it out of there and then we'll be back <laughs> Brenna's moving the Yukon. Go ahead, honey. Bye. Keep going. That's good. Good job. That thing took off. Yeah. Brenna's gonna drive the skid steer down here. And I'm gonna use it to try to lift this bed up so we can get the cylinder out of it. I'll show you guys that set up in the next clip here. Alright. Show you guys what we got going on. I opened the tailgate a little bit so that that chain that I have hooked to the skid steer is pulling down on the gate. And then the chain runs up and into that lifting eye on top of the dog box. So in theory, my theory is I'm gonna pull with the skid steer, Brenna's gonna drive it, and I'm gonna watch what's going on. And uh, as we pull the chain tight, that'll pull down on the tailgate, which will lift the front of the bed, and then the geometry will change, and then it'll pull backwards on the bed, which will pull it up in the air. So, let's see how it goes. Alright, let's see what happens.
that went pretty good. I was concerned there with this cylinder falling out and uh, smacking against the framework, like falling backwards hard. So that's why I had to get that piece of wood and shove it in there. I'm going to throw some safety chains on this and secure it so that it can't fall on me. And then uh, we got to get the bottom pin out of it. I'll zoom in here. I'm gonna get that bottom pin out of it and it's got some washers welded on there to hold the pin in. So I gotta work on getting that out of there and uh, bring you back after I get some more setup done here. All right, so I'm gonna use the, pla I have a plasma cutter. It's over here and uh, I'm gonna have that in gouge mode and we'll take these welds out. I'll get you guys a closer view. See, they just have that washer welded in there and I'm gonna cut those welds out of there and then that washer will fall out. So to do that though, I'll have to grind a shiny spot on the frame here for the ground. And uh, here's what the, well, here's what the plasma cutter looks like. I run a hypertherm machine. Power Max 1000, it's one of my most favorite tools in the shop. And uh, just to show you guys, I put some chains on the setup we got here. Uh, I have one on each side running down to the D-rings on the back of the truck. If that, for some reason, would move on the skid steer, that would catch it and keep it from coming down. So, all right, I'm going to hand the camera off to Brenna, and she'll record me doing this. Try to keep it in the center, you know what I mean? When you're gouging with a plasma cutter, a plasma cutter is real high heat, and so it's really nice for cutting material. It'll cut aluminum, steel, stainless, some things that a torch won't. And uh, anyhow, but on gouge mode, it just kind of like scoops material out. It's not cutting it, so it works good for this type of thing. Closer. We're gonna get a closer shot of that. See the washers here. Now we can drive that pin from the other side this way and get the cylinder out. All right. I'm gonna hook up a strap. We're gonna take the line off. Brenda's gonna run the excavator. Then we'll get the pin out of the bottom of it. I got it started. But it's not out completely yet. Not exactly sure how heavy this thing's gonna be, but I think the strap will be enough. So I'll get on the seat. a little bit. Huh? Pick it up a little bit. Go easy.
Go up with it real easy. Actually, Brenna, push that handle towards me. That's the stick. I want it to go up. So there's that. I'll get a plug for that hydraulic line and I'll slide this pin back in and then I'll still be able to use the truck to pull the trailer and stuff while this is getting rebuilt. Uh, I'll probably just make this video complete here and then maybe I'll make another one of us putting it back together when we get it back. So thanks for joining us. And you guys have a good one. Till next time.